Imagine a vehicle unconstrained by earthly limitations, one inspired by a distant planet where traffic does not exist and sustainability pervades. Driver and machine connect symbiotically, eliminating trivialities like steering wheels and pedals. We just drove, or, at least, attempted to drive, such a car, the Mercedes-Benz Vision AVTR. Unveiled in early 2020 at the Consumer Electronics Show, the Vision AVTR is a creative collaboration between Mercedes-Benz and Lightstorm Entertainment, filmmaker James Cameron's production company behind Avatar, you know, that 2009 sci-fi epic where towering blue aliens defend their lush homeworld of Pandora from resource-plundering human invaders. Unlike other movie cars, the Vision AVTR never appears on screen, but its futuristic approaches and bizarre driving experience would score it a starring role in any spacecraft-filled parking lot. And there just so happens to be a new Avatar movie coming out soon. At Manhattan Beach-based Lightstorm Entertainment, we met with two titans of industry to discuss the car's genesis. Mercedes-Benz design boss Gordon Wagoner lives and breathes the automaker's plans for the future of luxury. Avatar producer John Landau is so intimately familiar with the film that he could well be a Nosix alien in control of a human avatar. Avatar has an ethos, Landau said. It challenges us to look at the world differently, to recognize our actions have an impact, and seek a vision for a sustainable future. Those values align with Mercedes, which is laser-focused on its EQ-badged electric cars. Wagoner said, the goal was to embed the philosophy of Avatar into a Mercedes-Benz. The result is Vision AVTR. The realization of that goal is evident in the Vision AVTR's carbon fiber body, shaped with the aerodynamic one-bow profile seen on the EQS and EQE sedans. Beyond that and three-pointed star logos, similarities between it and terrestrial Mercedes models diverge. Visions of Pandora influence the aesthetics, Wagoner said. Orb-shaped wheels are adorned with animated lights and have a small contact patch to minimize impact on pristine terrain. At the rear, an array of illuminated flaps mimic Pandora's fauna. Powered by tiny electric motors, they move and change color in synchronization with the car. Beyond the massive transparent butterfly doors, the cabin's two plus two seats are inspired by giant leaves in which the Nosix, blue people, sleep. Dashboard and center console form a T-shaped structure devoid of touchscreens. Rather, a projector in the headliner beams images that occupants interact with via gesture controls. During our demonstration, we swiped our palms between icons from the Avatar universe and closed our fingers to activate animations of Pandora's landscapes. MB.OS has some cool features, but this was way cooler. Such interaction is meant to promote synergy between the vehicle and its occupants. Connecting with nature is a theme in Avatar, and we want the car to connect with its driver, Wagoner said. The ultimate example of that is the non-existent steering wheel and pedals. No, there's no way to make a neuronic connection, as the Nosix do with fauna on their homeworld. Rather, the car's movements correspond to inputs on a grippy illuminated nodule that rises from the center console. Its joystick-esque logic allows for conventional acceleration and steering, but also lateral crabwalk motions enabled by the car's rear-wheel steering. With a Mercedes engineer where the steering wheel should have been and us in what would normally be the passenger seat departed for a drive around the Lightstorm parking lot. The immediate impression was that this is galaxies away from a typical Mercedes. Headroom is limited, a towering NA6 would find itself feeling squeezed. Ride quality was non-existent, those orb wheels are covered in only a few millimeters of solid rubber. Squeaks filled the cabin, and the hinges securing the door seemed to be struggling. A strip of decorative trim shook loose and dangled off the A-pillar. Fortunately, the brand's standards are higher for its production cars. Even so, we couldn't stop grinning, this thing moved like nothing we've ever been in. As the engineer tilted the controller forward, the Vision AVTR's electric motors buzzed into motion. The car turned as he pivoted the controller, with huge degrees of rear-wheel steering making the car feel like it spun around a central point. Little prepared us for what happened when he rocked the controller over and the Vision AVTR moved sideways as its wheels turned in phase. Then we had a go. No need to switch seats, simply grab the controller. This was an entirely unfamiliar way of driving, and stationary objects suddenly seemed uncomfortably close. Good thing the Vision AVTR tops out slightly above 10 miles per hour. But it didn't take long to become acclimated to the enhanced maneuverability and controls, which eventually felt surprisingly intuitive. With enough practice and electric power, it wouldn't be hard to get around like this.
It even offers a hint at Mercedes-Benz thinking with the large EQS rear-wheel steering, which lends that humongous EV sedan surprising direction-changing capabilities in tight spaces, albeit no crab-walking magic. Fantastical as it is, the Vision AVTR could hold clues on features bound for next-generation Mercedes-Benz cars. Reducing environmental impact was a focus. The seats are upholstered in recycled materials, a parallel to Mercedes' experimental bio-based leatherettes. Wood surfaces are crafted from rattan, which regrows quickly after being harvested. Crucially, the battery omits rare earth substances, instead using a composable graphene cell chemistry. Long-term sustainability a key corporate goal, such approaches are likely being examined at Mercedes-Benz headquarters. Movie cars are often meant to just look cool, but the Vision AVTR goes further. It showcases future-facing designs and technologies while conveying themes of the Avatar story beyond the movie's breathtaking digital graphics, gripping storyline, and intense action sequences. Based on the preview scenes we watched from the upcoming sequel, Avatar, Way of Water, those are present in what's sure to be another blockbuster. Hits theaters on December 16th.